Hello everybody, welcome. We are here today at Disney's Animal Kingdom here in Walt Disney World, Florida. I am pumped to be here. It's been a little bit since we've been here, but they have a treat on the menu now that I've seen that I want to give a try to. So we're going to see if we can grab a snack while we're here and we're going to maybe ride some rides, hang out, maybe even see some new merch. I don't know, we'll find out, so stay tuned. All right, so let's start off our Animal Kingdom evening. Um, man, it's crowded. Very still. It's really crowded today. I mean, man, it's crowded. There was so many people walking out and so many people coming in so late at night. The park closes in what, like two hours or something? Yeah. I don't get it, man, it's crazy. It's been so crowded here. Um, so let's just keep uh, cruising along and see what we can find. Check out this hat. Park hopping is my cardio. This is definitely my hat because this is such the truth here. It's $29.99. If anybody's interested, but that is so me. Park hopping is definitely my cardio. Check this out. I found that I found the matching tumbler to the hat. It's in a totally different section. Park hopping is my cardio. And then it's got the four parks. It's only $24.99. For people interested in tumblers, there you go. Park hopping is my cardio. Interesting, I've seen a couple of things now with this on it. I'll just keep looking. We're just walking by and we saw that the Halloween treat bags are on sale $6 each when you buy two. Um, instead of the basically the normal cost which was like 10 or 11 bucks 10.99 and it's for these little treat bags when we first saw these treat bags we thought they were ultra kind of lame I'm not gonna lie they had a much better thing last year last year they had it and it was a it was like a plastic pumpkin like almost like a little decoration and it had like gummy worms in it and candy corns had different stuff and then they came out with these this year because we bought some for people and they came out with these which is like this little hanging bag and we saw this and we were like, man, this is lame. We're not going to buy these for people. <laughs> and sure enough, we're not even, I mean, we're over a week away from Halloween and they've already got them on sale because they're just, I think that they are not selling. I'm like, who came up with this idea? We were really actually kind of annoyed because we wanted to buy some more of the little um, souvenir ones for people. Because and then it's we, it's a little bit different every year. Yeah, she said usually it's different every year. And this year they came out with these and we were so disappointed. So okay, could have predicted that was going to happen. So they have this villain set right here, and they have this new item that I've not seen before. Check this out. Look how cute this is. It's like a little cabinet, uh, sort of like a little treasure box with a sword and a heart. But what's really interesting is what's inside. Coasters. The poison apples. Coasters. Like, what? Come on, man. We just bought a bunch of coasters. We bought the cocoa ones. But, man, if I would have seen these, maybe we would have got them. Probably not, though, because they're $44.99. So 50 bucks for coasters, it's a little bit pricey, but man, is this thing cute. It's kind of worth it, because you can. this is like a decoration, you can sit on your table. And then you got coasters in there. How cool. All right, we stopped at the Flame Tree Barbecue. And by the way, I keep saying this, why are there so many people here? So What's happening? many people. Does nobody stop. work anymore? <laughs> I mean, there are literally people all the time. Like it's so crowded here all the time. I think people are starting to get here for the Halloween. Yeah. Starting to get amped up for the Thanksgiving crowd and the Christmas crowd. I mean, it's just, it ain't gonna get, it's not gonna get any less than it is right now. It just ain't gonna get any better. It's gonna be crowded from here to kingdom come. I'm just accepting it, <laughs> but I'm still gonna keep complaining about it. I don't know why I complain because if there was less people here, then it wouldn't be open as much. Maybe they would go out of business and I definitely don't want that. So I want more people here. I just don't like when there's too many people here. So I don't know, I can't win. It is what it is. But we stopped at Flame Tree Barbecue, and and by the way, it took forever. Like literally, yeah, like it was like I did the mobile order. I had to wait 10 minutes even after I mobile ordered before I could even check in to say I'm here preparing my order, which normally I wouldn't do. I'd just move on to the next thing, but I really wanted to try this treat. And then um, 10 minutes later passed, I clicked the button and said I'm here, and then you do the normal waiting. It was like another 15 minutes past that before I was even able to before my mobile order was ready and all I got was a treat and a drink so it took a while and by the way I only came here for the snack that's really what I was looking for but every time we sit there and wait at flame tree barbecue he wants the food 
the smell. I mean, I don't like barbecue food, but I love the smell of barbecue food. The onion rings look good to me, but I'm starving, so. <laughs> that like smoky f smell, that smoky smell scent with the barbecue, the tangy zip of the barbecue sauce smell. I wish I liked barbecue food. I mean, I can eat it. Although, but, and it also looks good. Man, it looks good, smells good. It's just not my favorite type of food. But their ribs and chicken does look really good. I think I need to try it again. It's been a while. Um, but I feel like my mind and my scent, my smell and my mind like it more than I actually like it. I'm still stuck on the fact that he said the zip of the barbecue sauce. I almost said something when I said the zip because I knew for sure what you were thinking in your that? mind. Why did he just say that? Oh, I was. But I, but I didn't. <laughs> I was like, and so oh. then you just said it out loud. So I didn't need to. Just saying. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but anyhow, no we, uh, you know, like that tangy zip. There's no other word. Just zip. Zip. Yeah. Anyway, I, um, we came here to get the snack, which is none other than, check it out. I think they've had it for a little bit. We just keep passing by it. And finally, I was like, today's the day. Um, oh, check it out. I mean, look at this thing. Can you see it? Look at that. I mean, it looks really cool. It's a Scar cupcake. It's $5.99. I think it kind of looks weird. It, like it has fish eggs on the top. She said fish eggs on top. I'm like, it's not fish eggs. It's That's like crispy pearls. It's one. like crispy chocolate pearls, I think. Okay, well, Do you keep there's, There's a bunny rabbit right behind us, I see. I kept hearing this like rustling behind us. And it's a little bunny rabbit. I see it. That or an alligator. I see it is a bunny it. rabbit. I see him. Or her. She's super cute. Um, but anyway, it's making a lot of noise. Bunny, can you chill? Try and do a video. A lot of noise. I didn't it's rustling. That. There's some rustling happening. <laughs> okay, so the Scar Cupcake, back to that $5.99 at Flame Tree Barbecue. Yum. Um, and it is a red velvet cupcake. I'm not a fan of red velvet. Oh man, you just soiled it. Not a fan of red velvet. <laughs> but excited. everything but everything else on it made me so interested in the cupcake, I had to get it anyway. So check it out. It's the red velvet cupcake. We'll just throw that out because I already know it's gonna taste like salty clay. But then it has toasted marshmallow filling. Yum. Usually their cupcakes don't have filling here. The rabbit he's, he's it's it's closer. fine. It's fine. Okay, I'll, here, everyone's going to want to see the rabbit now. Let me just show it to you. Look how cute it is. Oh, he's reaching for that food. Look at him, he's like standing up. Okay. Because I had, I had to zoom in for the rabbit. Um, He's cute. He was super cute. He was. I never. I don't think I ever really see him standing up like that, especially in the wild. He was like standing up trying to get that leaf or something. Anyhow, fun fact. back to the cupcake. My first pet was a rabbit. It was when we were married. Yeah. Not yeah. so fun fact. That rabbit was annoying. He died. His name was Bunny because we asked my David, my oldest son, um, what he wanted to name her. Him. Was it a boy or a girl? I don't know. That rabbit but, was annoying. Uh, and he said, bunny. I was like, okay, well, bunny it is, but... It was super cute, though. Yeah. It was one of those floppy ear, gray, like really super furry, almost like chinchilla fur. He was black. Was it? I thought oh we had one like that. Oh my gosh. Am I thinking of the wrong rabbit? It's been a long time. Guys, it's been it like was black? 23 years. Did we have a gray one? No. Maybe that was my sister that had one when I was growing up. <laughs> but our bunny was black. Anyway, that rabbit was annoying because it went to the bathroom outside of its cage. I don't know how. It's in its cage. It's in its cage. All outside of its cage. And would never go to the bathroom in its cage. I think it like somehow squatted its butt up against the cage and went outside to the bathroom outside. He did, but he was cute. So we had to start putting like towels around the cage. Why can't I remember if it was a boy or a girl? I don't remember. I swear we're better pet parents than this. Whatever. Anyway, moving on from the dumb poop outside of its cage rabbit. To the Scar Cupcake. That's a great transition. Poop outside of its cage, rabbit, to a cupcake. To the fish egg cupcake. 
Great, whatever, this is going, this is, we just started this video and it's already off the rails bad. Okay, anyway, let's get back on track. Red velvet cupcake, but it has a toasted marshmallow filling. I don't feel like cupcakes at Disney usually have filling in them. They usually don't have any filling. So when I saw that, I was like, that's interesting. I want to try that. My I'm guess a, is it's going to not have flavor. That's a wink. I'm a big fan of filling in the middle of a cupcake. Molly's Cupcakes back in uh, Cincinnati, which by the way, I didn't realize that Molly's Cupcake, their peach cobbler cupcake that they have there actually was on Cupcake Wars and won in the finale with the peach cobbler cupcake. And the peach cobbler cupcake's pretty good. She likes peach cobbler more than I do, but it's a really good. So anyway, Molly's Cupcakes, they rock. And they all, every one of their cupcakes has fillings in it, so I'm a big fan. Moving on, so toasted marshmallow filling also has a marshmallow chocolate frosting, chocolate pebbles, which is a little, you know, crispy pearly things on top, I'm assuming, white chocolate flames, and an edible icing image of scar. Once again, you can see it. There's the edible scar and the cute little chocolate flames. I did not know those were white chocolate flames. I thought they were. Um, I thought they were like leaves. Leaves, bushes, trees. <laughs> they don't look like leaves. Why are they? Green? But I guess it makes sense. Well, because in the scene, if you remember, in the scene in the movie, when he's singing that song, oh, "Be yeah. Prepared," there's like yellow and greenish Be flames. Prepared. Yeah. So that makes sense. But I didn't get that until I read it. I didn't get it. All right, so let's rip into it. I want to go. Um, here, let's try the old... I don't usually eat the little stuff that's stuck into it, but it said icing. instead. It didn't say white chocolate. It said edible icing image of Scar. So I want to see if it's any good. I guess so. You all right there? Yeah, you, you good? I can't even get this white chocolate flame out of here. I'm trying to see if I got it on my shirt. <laughs> it just tastes like white chocolate. It's literally the same thing. Except it was harder. I can't get this out. I couldn't either. That's just it. staying. That's staying in there. It ain't coming out. I'm trying to get it out, and the whole cupcake is Did coming. Did you want more of that? Actually, this might work out. Nope. It's not working out. By the way, I tried to do the same thing. I tried to use this to pull the cupcake out, and only the top part of the cupcake is coming off. So I think the filling is working against us here. We now have two cupcakes. Here's we a have a top half of a cupcake and a bottom half of a cupcake. All right, so let's rip it open. All right, here we go. I'm looking for the hole on the bottom where they usually do the filling, but I don't see it, so it's probably on the top. But look. You see how there's like a line on the cupcake? You see that? I feel like it's like two cupcakes. Like, no, I guess not. I don't know. But of course I didn't get a, a napkin, so my hands are going to be red after this. Let's just give it a rip. Wow, this is... Yeah. really should have got a fork. I should have got a fork. All right, let's go. Here we go. We got to, forgot to get a fork, so it's just going to be a mess in it everywhere. And it's too far away now. We don't want to walk up there. The cupcake's too big. That looks All like I got a little, was the little icing. rabbit bite. <laughs> All I got was the icing. I couldn't get deep. That's pretty good, though. I'm already a mess. I don't like that it's cold. I don't like cold cupcakes. I don't either, but give it a rip. She spills most of the food when she takes bites. Maybe a rip though, really. I like the top. It's actually pretty good. I like the top a lot too. I don't know what it is. I mean, it, it says it's a marshmallow chocolate frosting. I like it. I like this a lot better than I thought I would. And honestly, the cupcake part is good. You can't get the middle because it's literally the hardest something ever. Yeah, I like, wish they wouldn't refrigerate like these. Like ice cream. I really do. I actually like the cupcake. The red velvet cupcake part is actually good. Um, it's not super dense. 
It's light and fluffy. The stuff in the middle might as well not even be there, though, because I don't even... You can't get to it. I haven't First gotten all, to it yet. it's this big. Yeah, let, here, let me see if I can give you a look. Do you see this? This thing's mangled, by That's the way. That's making it look bigger than it is. Look. See how there's like a little dollop of uh, marshmallow filling in there? I haven't tasted it yet because I can't get to it, so I'm going to try and get to it. I had to get Man, it out with good. my finger. Like it would not come out. The whole thing's just falling apart now. But I'm going to see if I can get some of it. You can't taste the stuff in the middle. The stuff in the middle just tastes like <laughs> vanilla icing. Is that what it tastes like? It just tastes like straight my mouth vanilla tastes icing. Like so much like chocolate. doesn't taste like taste marshmallow at all, but either way, I still like it. We like this cupcake, um, and that's why it's almost gone. Mm. I'm starving now. Yum. I'm I really like it actually. Now. I really like this cupcake. I didn't have high hopes when I saw red velvet, but man, it's good. Mm -hmm. And I like the crispy pearls on top, the fish eggs. They have that little crunch to it. Fish eggs are good. I got nothing bad to say about this cupcake, to be honest. It's probably one of the best it's ones we've had. This is a noble cupcake. It's not a nope. I'm actually going to eat the rest of this as soon as I turn the camera off. I don't want to subject you all to it, but man, it's good. I'm mad thirsty now, though. I'm glad we got this cupcake. I almost got the other one that they had, but I was like, I want to try this one because it does look good. Because um, I saw marshmallow and chocolate, and I was like, why not? The fish eggs are the best part. It's solid A-plus cupcake for me. One of the best that you, we've had at Disney World, for sure. There, there's only been a couple that we've had at Disney that are really good, and the rest are just kind of not good. <laughs> this is a good one. Okay, we have a theory that we've been kind of paying attention to, a trend, if you will, um, as far as the park crowds go. We thought maybe it was because of fall break, or maybe it's the type of the season, but we're starting to actually wonder now if the crowds at these parks, such as Animal Kingdom, Epcot, and Hollywood Studios, have actually been more than they normally would be, because these are, we, we've been going on the evenings during the Halloween Mickey's Not So Scary parties. So we're wondering, we have a theory that during the Mickey's Not So Scary, because Magic Kingdom closes at six o'clock for guests that aren't going to Mickey's Not So Scary. So we have a theory that people who aren't going to the Not So Scary party, which isn't, a, isn't usually like a ton of people, are coming to these parks on those days. So any day where they would actually have a Mickey's Not So Scary where Magic Kingdom closes at 6, all those people are distributing to these other three parks instead of being a Magic Kingdom. Which is Kingdom. what I did today because for some reason or another I cannot remember that Mickey's Not So Scary is going on so I continuously make the, our Magic Kingdom days on the days where there's it closes at 6. Yeah. And it's very annoying. It's very annoying. When are we going to Magic Kingdom again? I feel like we haven't been there in forever. <laughs> I don't know. Every day I'm like, we'll go tomorrow and then I'm like, oh wait, there's a party. So I'm wondering if that's the case. Because of the, the, the nights when there's a, there's a not-so-scary party, more people are distributing to these other parks, and so it's a lot more crowded here than it normally would be because those people would normally be at Magic Kingdom. I'm going to keep testing this theory. I feel like we might be onto something, which means don't come to... Try not to come to one of the parks here when there's a not-so-scary party going on um, because it's going to result in more people being here. One of the things that we're noticing is... Um, it's a little bit colder today than it normally is here in Florida, so it's a little bit cooler weather. And what I'm noticing is that a lot of these little kiosks, um, the out, like where the, where the main stores are, outside of the stores they usually have merchandise in the fronts of the stores on the outside. If you notice, you can kind of even see one right there. A lot of them are actually have sweaters or sweatshirts outside um, as sort of impulse buy items because there's probably a lot of people walking around right now that are starting to get a little bit cold and people are thinking, you know what, I could probably use a sweatshirt right now, it's a little bit colder and I wasn't dressed. Because the thing about Florida is when the sun goes down, like you'll probably be hot here during the day, when the sun goes down, all of a sudden it drops 10, 20 degrees and all of a sudden you're freezing. And so, they're ca I think that that's what I'm seeing, they're capitalizing on that, they're putting like sweatshirts and jackets and coats out at these kiosks. Um, when it's going to be a little bit colder day because they're expecting people to kind of walk by and maybe pick them up. I'm on to you. So Candy came up to me and said, does this sweatshirt fit? And I can find a mirror. And so I looked down at the sweatshirt and I said, um, no, because the pocket is up here 
where you know your stuff is like that doesn't make sense is it designed that way or is it just because like it's is it for a kid like why is the pocket up at your like neck I think it's a kid's item that she tried to cram on okay it's not a kid's item but I still have no idea why the pocket is up at your neck so you, so you can walk around like it's this? It's very warm and cozy though. But you can just walk around like this all day? This is comfortable. I'm gonna stick my hands in my pockets. What's up? So look what I found here in this store. It's in the little Pandora like little area. It's not in Pandora shop though. I was like, I saw it sticking up like this. I was like, what's this? I've never seen it before. That's it all. It's $49.99, which is a lot for an umbrella. But look on the inside. Oh my gosh, it's so elaborate and it's and it's so big. Look. And I I love big umbrellas. Like you could definitely put more than one person in there. So cute. If you like Pandora, you definitely get this and it's huge. It is a really cute umbrella. Um, I really like that like shiny orb um, and I like how it has the map. Kind of like a map of Pandora on the inside. It's like really pretty. It's a cute, it's a really cool umbrella. I will say however that the umbrella that we looked at was already broken. It was already broken. So either it's cheap and it's, it's going to break or I'm going to chalk that up to the fact that it's the display umbrella yeah. and it's been through the ringer. Um, and that's why it's broken. Although I feel Not like every umbrella I get, it always breaks. So. Every umbrella breaks. But to be fair, that umbrella really hasn't probably been used in the wind. So I don't know why it was broke. I'm gonna just I'm gonna assume people were playing with it and it broke. But it's 50 bucks. It's they're 40, 50, 50 bucks. But it's really cute. I'm gonna head over to Pandora real quick because last time we were here, they did not have any of the blueberry popcorn that I'm a huge fan of. Um, and they did say they were going to get more in, but I'm kind of curious if they did get any more in, because it's been a week or two. I don't remember how long it's been, but it's been a while. So I'm curious to see if they have it back yet or not. So we're going to head over there and check it out. It never gets old. It never gets old. It always looks cool. There's um, a lot of people standing here for some reason. Trying to, uh, I guess, take pictures of that, because it is pretty cool looking. Hey, we finally found a spot where there's not very many people. Can actually walk without um, having to serpentine in and out between a bunch of people. But that won't last very long. It'll it'll be business as usual as we get a little bit further up here. I looked at the flight of passage wait time and it was 120 minutes. Even Navi River was like 95 minutes. I'm like Navi River. Who waits 95 minutes for Navi River? I don't. I don't know. Looks like they have the umbrellas here as well in wind traders uh, here over here on pandora so but um alas i am not seeing the blue popcorn what is the deal with that they either lied to me or they didn't know or they just haven't gotten them in yet or they got them in and they're gone again already again i'm gonna ask again what's up with that well, I asked somebody, and they did say it's still sold out, but they do expect to get more blue, blueberry popcorn. I said, it's been a while, though, right? And she said, yeah. She said, I think for at least a month. So they've been gone for a month. Hmm. I guess it's a good time. I guess it would be a good time to start my diet. Check these out. These are like um, kind of like ears, but they're the, the, the little, like, I don't know what those things are called. The little, like, jellyfish things that fly around in Pandora. So, look kind of cute. And they glow in the black light. So they would glow around Pandora at night because they got lots of black lights. I don't know if they glow um, very well just in the dark, but they definitely would glow around in Pandora. But they are $40. Okay, you know the line for Flight of Passage is long when it comes outside. I haven't seen it actually come outside and I don't know how long it's been since I've seen it out here. 
I mean, it, it, when it, I usually will see it like way up there. Like you'll see people kind of like a little bit up there. And that's usually when it's like a 90 to two hour minute, uh, 90 minute to two hour wait. Um, when they're kind of up there, where are they? There they are, up there. You see the people up there. But like all the way down out here, the line, I mean, yikes. That's gonna be a long wait. Look at all the people just kind of sitting around. Like everywhere I look, there's just people sitting. Like it almost, you would almost think that there's like a fireworks show about to start somewhere in Pandora because there's just so many people sitting around doing absolutely nothing, like they're waiting. So I don't know if it's all these people are waiting for people that are maybe in line because they didn't want to ride it for some reason, but I don't know, just everywhere I look, there's people sitting around. Oh, the Navi River, down to 85 minutes. I don't understand. Absolutely, huh? I won't be waiting in that line. No, absolutely never wait more than 30 minutes for Navi River. It's not worth it. It's it's a, it's a cute ride. I love it. We would actually it. ride it way more. But I won't even wait 30 minutes. No. Normally we come here at night. And what day is today? I don't even know. Friday. Yeah. Well, maybe not Friday, but during during the week. Um, and you get right on it, and we ride it twice in a row. Yeah. I mean, normally, you use a 15, you know, we, we'll wait 5, 10, 15 minutes for it. What a fun night we had tonight at Animal Kingdom. It's starting to get dark. It's going to be closing soon. I think it's time for us to head out. But um, I'm still surprised at how good that cupcake was. Man, it was good. Um, I was surprised. Especially because there was red velvet. I had no hope. I didn't have as many hopes, but man, it came through. All the things that I thought were going to be good in it ended up just not being ex non-existent. <laughs> and all the things that I wasn't expecting were there. And it just made it so... It, it made it to be an amazing cupcake. It was so good. Um, but it was a lot of fun. A lot of people here. A lot of people. I'm cold now. Starting to get a little cold. Um, a lot of new merch. Cool things. Yeah. So that's all we got for you. So thanks for... So... so he said thanks for... I don't know. <laughs> okay. Thanks for joining us. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Be sure to tune in again next time. Tomorrow probably. will be another video tomorrow. But until then, uh, comment, like, subscribe share we appreciate it uh, be sure to check out our other channel noble reactions lots of cool stuff over there happening too uh, until we see you next time the noble way is the easy way bye bye everybody